مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم هوب يو ويل اند هاف يو ونترفول داي ويلكم تو انذر سيشن اوف لاني لفاتان ارابيك فريزز اند ان توداي سيشن بلاي سم كي فريزز وذ ريجاردز تو ترافلز اند دايركشنز ان لفاتان ارابيك فور سم اوف يو ذس ماي بي ا جود ريفيجن اند فور سم اوف يو ماي بي جريت اكسبوجر تو سم اوف ذيس كي فريزز اند فوكابولري تو ميمورايز از اف يو ار ستارتينج ا فيري وورم ويلكم تو ايفري بودي هو جست جوين ذا شانل اي هوب يو هافينج جريت تايم اند دونت هيزيتيت تو اسك اف يو هاف اني كويشنز اولسو اي ال بي جيفينج يو ان اكزامبل example i'll go over it uh, twice and i'll translate it word for word then the overall translation as well so hopefully you have a great experience learning some arabic without further ado let's have a look our first word is holiday holiday in arabic we've got three phrases for it so the first one is rahle so the r is the equivalent of the spanish or italian r it's basically an arabic r so rahle And the letter ha, it's a uvula letter, is uh, pronounced from the back of your throat. Uh, so ha, ha, very much when you eat some spicy food and you're trying to uh, catch your breath because of the spiciness or the hotness. So yes, so this is rah le, rah le, rah le, which means uh, a trip as well. Atle, atle as well. People use it as uh, on the meaning of holiday. It means an off day or break day. So. It's a, and sometimes people tend to use it to refer to a weekend. So atle, that's atle. Finally, we've got the word ijaze. Ijaze it means holiday. That's the direct word for holiday. So ijaze, ijaze. You've got three vocabulary here to use, and um, whichever you choose is absolutely fine. Uh, you will hear all of them. You will hear all of them in the same context. And sometimes people use rahle on the meaning of a trip. And they use atle on the meaning of weekend and the holiday. So people would uh, use these uh, phrases on the same meaning. Let me go over them again. Rahle, atle, ijaze. We've got an example for you. Rahat fi ijaze ma ailti. Rahat fi ijaze ma ailti. Rahat I went. Fi is in or to in this context. Ijaze, which means a holiday. Ma is with. Ailti is my family. Rahat fi ijaze ma ailti. I went on a holiday with my family. One of the vocabulary that you will definitely need. So we've got an wan, an wan, an wan, an wan, an wan. So the letter ain is a little bit difficult for you, as again, as a usual letter pronounced from the back of your throat. Uh, Ain and how to pronounce this letter? Simply place your tongue at the back of your lower teeth, and try when pronouncing this letter. Try to keep your tongue behind your lower teeth, so automatically the back of your tongue is going to raise up, and you try to pronounce it. So give that a try, and it's ah ah anwan. So anwan is address. And uh, addresses, so the plural is anawin, anwan, anawin. That's the plural, anwan, anawin, anwan, anawin. And if you go on holiday and you're always like me, uh, not being able to read the maps properly, ask people. So you could say, "Lo samahti," if you're talking to a woman, "Lo samahti," please, "Lo samahti," please. When is where? Ha is this el anwan this address? Lo samahti. When hal anwan? Please, where is this address? Meaning, can you help me uh, to find this address? Lo samahti. When hal anwan? Lo samahti. When hal anwan? Next, a very important vocabulary. Matar. Matar, matar, which means an airport. Matar, matar, and tayara, tayara. Actually, we could use it to refer to an airplane and a flight. So, is very, very useful vocabulary. Matar, tayara, tayara, tayara. I made the font as big as possible, so hopefully it's clear. But I would definitely recommend uh, to watch this on an iPad or a bigger screen. I understand uh, this current generation; you all would like to watch these things on a mobile phone. But I don't think it's good. Uh, 
So I tried to watch this on a, on a computer or an iPad where the screen is much, much bigger. Uh, let me go over again. It's Matar. 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 And the word aeroplane or flight is Tayyara. Tayyara. We've got an example for you. Lazim Nuruh Al Matar Rahnit Akhara at Tayyara. Lazim Ruh Al Matar Rahnit Akhara at Tayyara. Lazim must, should. Nuruh, we go. Lazim Ruh, we should go. Al Matar to the airport. Rahnit Akhar Rah is will. So it refers to the future tense. Rah will. Nit Akhar. Be late or get delayed. Atayara on the flight. We'll be late for the flight. So we should go now to the airport. We'll be late for the flight. Lazim Nuruh al Matar Rahnet Akhar Atayara. Next, we've got a very important vocabulary on the meaning of avenue or neighborhood. So Hara. Hara is a neighborhood. Hara. Hara is a neighborhood. Equally along, uh, alongside uh, this uh, very important vocabulary, you've got Jadde. Jadde. So Jadde is uh, an avenue. Jadde is an avenue. And of course, uh, we've got more vocabulary. I could uh, elongate this and make this session a very long one, but I'm afraid uh, we can't uh, put too much or everything in one session because it's going to we'll get way too long. So... I've picked uh, or cherry picked a number of these vocabularies so you could practice. Again, it's Hara, 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 Jadde. So Jadde is an avenue, Jadde, and Hara is a neighborhood. We've got an example for you. Amol Maruf, Amol Maruf, which means do me a favor. Really lovely phrase. Amol Maruf. So you could use it uh, to talk to anybody. Amol Maruf. Please, can you do me a favor? Amol Maruf. When, where, Jadit, which means avenue, Palestine, Palestine. When Jadit, Palestine, where is Palestine's avenue? So here you're looking for that avenue. Amol Maruf. When Jadit, Palestine. Next, a very important vocabulary you will need it when you go on a holiday, and it is Shanta. 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 You will hear in Gulf Arabic they uh, replace the sh with a j, j as in John. So they say janta. It's pretty much the same as just uh, sometimes people tend to replace uh, certain letters where they think it's more convenient or it goes alongside with the cultural references they may have. Uh, but however, in Levantine Arabic, as it's our topic today and as the channel main mission, it's shanta. So shanta, shanta, which means bag, shanta. And the plural is shanati, shanati, shanta, shanati. So shanati, which means bags or luggages. So that's the plural of this. Shanta is one bag, shanta, one bag, shanta. And the plural is shanati, shanati bags. We've got an example for you. ممكن نترك الشناطي هون ممكن is it possible نترك we leave الشناطي the bags هون here imagine if you're at the airport you're going to go and grab uh, a taxi you're trying to find a taxi you're asking somebody sorry can I leave my bags here and you'll use this phrase to mean that ممكن نترك الشناطي هون can we leave the bags here ممكن نترك الشناطي هون Hon being here. Next, we've got Tazgara. Tazgara. Tazgara is a ticket. A very important one. Tazgara. Tazgara is a ticket. Um, you could use as well to refer to a boarding pass as well. Tazgara. And the plural is Tazakir. Tazgara. And the plural is Tazakir. 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 Tazakir, which means tickets. So Tazgara is the singular. And tazakir is the plural. Tazkara, tazakir. We've got an example for you. Fiki tehjizi tazakir at tayyara. Fiki tehjizi tazakir at tayyara. 
Fiki, you asking a woman, can you? Fiki, can you? Fiki, can you? And I've made a dedicated tutorial on how to conjugate can, uh, by the way, because it's used as a helping verb. It's not a verb, by the way. So if you want a little bit more information on can, all you need to do is to go uh, to one of the playlists, which I think is the conjugation, and put can, and you should see it. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very useful, and I would highly recommend that you watch it uh, and to practice it. So fiki, if you're talking to a woman, can you? Tehjizi, you book. Fiki tehjizi, the overall translation means, can you book? Can you book? Fiki tehjizi, can you book? Talking to a woman. Tazakir, tickets. Atayara, the plane or the flight. Fiki tehjizi tazakir atayara, can you book the flight's tickets? Fiki tehjizi tazakir atayara. Another important vocabulary is findo. Findo, hotel. Findo. Findo. And the plural is fanad. Fanade, fanade. So that's the singular and that's the plural. Hotel, hotels. When fi fundo mnih urchis hon. When fi fundo mnih urchis hon. When fi, where is? Where can I find? When fi fundo, where is a hotel? Where can I find a hotel? Mnih, mnih, which means good. Mnih, good. And if somebody asks you, how are you, kifak, you could say, mnih, I'm good, mnih. U, which means and, u, and, rhis, rhis, which means cheap. Hon, here, nearby. When fi fundo mnih or rhis hon, and it means, where can I find a good and a cheap hotel around here? In case if you don't fancy renting a hotel room, you could rent a flat. And it is, shi'a. Shi'a. Shi'a is a flat. Shi'a. Shi'a is a flat. And the plural is Shi'a. 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 So uh, the letter Qaf in dialect, as you might have guessed, uh, if some of you have been with me uh, along this uh, long journey for the past uh, couple of years, the letter Qaf here in uh, Levantine Arabic and specifically uh, uh, plus other dialects as well. It's not just something unique in Levantine Arabic. Uh, they tend to uh, replace the letter Qaf with a, a glottal stop, which is a. Uh. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to or you cannot pronounce the letter Qaf, Qaf. You certainly can go. So you could say Shukka. Shukka. And a lot of people translate it as Q, as the letter Q in English. Shukka. So Shukka is a flat and the plural is Shukkaq. Shukkaq. Shikak, shikak, flats, uh, versus uh, to the Dalek pronunciation where people would say shi'a, shi'a, and the plural is shi'a, flats. So whichever pronunciation you go for is absolutely fine, uh, and it's just uh, uh, one way versus another of pronouncing these vocabulary. Fini istajir, can I rent? Istajir is to rent. Fini istajir, can I rent? Shi'a is a flat, badal instead of, badal instead of, ghirfe, ghirfe is a room. Fini istajir, can I rent? Shi'a, a flat, badal instead of, badal instead of, ghirfe, so ghirfe, ghirfe is a room. So the letter gha is uh, pretty much uh, the same pronunciation as the French uh, R, gha as in bonjour, or reise, which is as well as full in German. So you German students, you are really good at pronouncing this letter. So gherfe, gherfe, which means a room. Fini stager sha'a badal gherfe. Can I rent a flat instead of renting a room? Another key vocabulary, is shot. Is shot is the beach. Is shot is the beach. Uh, we do have another vocabulary for it, and it's shate, shate, shate. So shate, which means beach, and shat, which means beach. Whichever vocabulary you could go for, or you pronounce, or you memorize, is absolutely fine. People do use both. I've got an example for you. Rahbla ikon baad saa ashat. 
راح بلا ايكون بعد ساعة عشط راح as well as a future prefix بلا اي to see to find to meet كون it refers to you group of people راح بلا ايكون I'll meet you guys راح بلا ايكون I'll meet you guys me talking to you group of people بعد which means after بعد after ساعة and ساعة is an hour بعد ساعة after an hour in an hour I shot on the beach so you'd use a sentence if you are meeting a group of friends on the beach and you'll tell them well I'll see you in an hour I'll see you there in an hour and in Arabic you would say راح بلاقيكم بعد ساعة عشط راح بلاقيكم بعد ساعة عشط another very important vocabulary when you're abroad you need to eat Matam. Matam is a, a restaurant. Matam. Matam. Matam, which means a restaurant. And the plural is Mataim. Mataim. Mataim, restaurants. Matam. Mataim. I've got an example for you. Nahna Adin bil Matam bad il Mahalat. نحن قاعدين بالمطعم بعد المحلات نحن we قاعدين sitting or located but here uh, means sitting you're sitting down نحن we قاعدين sitting uh, so that's uh, refers to us group of people that's the active participle another very important uh, grammatical case uh, or a derivative that we use in Levantine Arabic and uh, it's not specifically to Levantine Arabic we use it in Morasan Arabic and other dialects so if you need some more information on that, you could have a look at the grammar section and you could see the active participle there. I've made five dedicated tutorials to this uh, particular grammar. Bilmatam at the restaurant. B which means in or at. Bilmatam at the restaurant. Bad which means after. Bad after. El Mahalat shops. El Mahalat shops. We're sitting at the restaurant after the shops. Another key vocabulary when you're trying to rent a boat. And a boat is qarib. Qarib is a boat. Qarib. Qarib. Qarib is a boat. And the plural is qawarib. Qawarib. Boats. Qawarib. Qarib. Qawarib. Qarib. Qawarib. Boat. Boats. When mumkin nistajir qarib la sa'a? When mumkin? Where is it possible? When is where? Mumkin means uh, possible. Nistajir we rent qarib, which means a boat. La is for and sa'a is an hour. When mumkin nistajir qarib la sa'a? Where can I find a boat to rent for one hour? Another key vocabulary for a lot of you who don't want to rent a car when you travel. Oh, I don't like renting cars because it's a lot of headache. So instead of that, I use public transport, which is not great, not ideal, but less headache. You're familiar with uh, this vocabulary, so it's nothing new. Bus is, uh, and actually an English word uh, is used in Arabic, bus. Basat. Bus is one bus. Basat. Buses. We've got an example for you. في باصات عشط من السوق في باصات are there buses عشط to the beach من السوق from the market so if you want to go to the market and you want to use the public transport you would use a sentence and you would say are there buses to the beach from the market في باصات عشط من السوق Next we've got two amazing vocabulary which you will use them a lot because these are effectively these are the postcodes in the Middle East. Uh, in the Middle East, uh, most countries don't really have postcodes. So if you're looking for uh, the market, they'll tell you the market is after the post office, knowingly that you are aware where the post office is, or understanding that you know where the post office is. So bad or abil, these are the postcodes in the Middle East. Are very important adverbs for place or time. Bad is after bad after abil before abil before bad abil bad abil i've got an example for you 
الفندق بعد السوق وقبل القهوة الفندق the hotel بعد after السوق the market الفندق بعد السوق the hotel is after the market وقبل and before و that's و which means and قبل before وقبل and before القهوة the cafe الفندق بعد السوق وقبل القهوة الفندق بعد السوق وقبل القهوة Another similar important uh, postcode, uh, if we are allowed to say that. Uh, it's an adverb for place. Uh, it's a vocabulary only used in Levantine Arabic. So we've got muajah, muajah, opposite, or m'abil, m'abil, which means opposite as well. So another, another synonym. Muajah, m'abil, muajah, m'abil, which means opposite. I've got an example for you. القهوة مقابيل صيدلية رشيدة. القهوة, which is the cafe, مقابيل, opposite, صيدلية رشيدة. القهوة مقابيل صيدلية رشيدة. The cafe is opposite Rashida's pharmacy. صيدلية, pharmacy. صيدلية, pharmacy. Next, we've got a very crucial and important uh, uh, things that you must know uh, before heading. So we've got awal is first, awal first, tani second, talat third, awal tani talat first, second, third. Really important when people guide you or direct you. And by the way, I've made a dedicated tutorial. Uh, how to ask and guide people uh, with regards when it comes to asking for directions. So if you need a little bit more information on that, uh, that tutorial is a little bit long, but it's packed with information. As you know, as you know, I never disappoint. So it's a big tutorial. It's a long tutorial. It's approximately, I think, an hour and a bit, but it's packed with information and it's called directions in Levantine Arabic or asking for directions in Levantine Arabic. Go and check that tutorial out. So if you're asking for directions, you might need to memorize these. أول first تاني second تالت third an example السفارة the embassy بعد after تالت شارع تالت شارع third street السفارة بعد تالت شارع السفارة which means the embassy بعد after تالت is third شارع street the embassy is after the third street. Al Yamin on the right hand side. Aha is on, Yamin is right. Is Safara Bad Talit Shara Al Yamin. The embassy is after the third street on the right hand side. Is Safara Bad Talit Shara Al Yamin. Continue with that. We've got Raba fourth. Raba fourth. خامس fifth خامس is fifth خامس سادس is sixth رابع خامس سادس I'm not going to go uh, beyond this uh, because I think after that you're all going to going to get lost if you ask for directions if somebody's guiding you after the sixth street do yourself a favor and take a taxi You'll save yourself a hell of a longer time uh, going and following directions to go right, left, and back, or take the first street or the sixth street or the seventh street. No, take a taxi and do yourself a favor. So I'm not going to go be beyond sixth. Uh, let's go over again. Raba is fourth, Khamis fifth, Sadis sixth, Raba, Khamis Sadis. I've got an example for you. الشرطة بعد خامس شارع على يسار. الشرطة, the police station, or the police, uh, referring to the police station. الشرطة, الشرطة, الشرطة بعد خامس شارع, بعد is after, خامس is fifth, شارع is street. Meaning the police station is uh, after five streets, uh, five streets uh, down, uh, down. Al Yasar, aha is on. Il Yasar, 
which means the left hand side. The police station is five streets down on the left hand side. الشرطة بعد خمس شارع على اليسار. Another very important vocabulary for you to know it's سايح. سايح is a tourist. سايح سايح is a tourist. And tourism is سياحة. سياحة سياحة is a tourism. سايح is a tourist. سياحة tourism. أنا سايح وأنا ببيروت في سياحة. أنا سايح I'm a tourist. وأنا ببيروت I'm in Beirut في سياحة doing some tourism. So it's your break. I uh, know it's a little bit uh, maybe it doesn't make that much sense but that's how we say it in Arabic. أنا سايح I'm a tourist. But of course you're not going to use the same sentence here but you could say أنا في بيروت في سياحة. I'm just uh, here as a tourist. I'm not coming uh, in a work uh, uh, trip. أنا سايح وأنا ببيروت في سياحة. Another key vocabulary. قارة. قارة continent. قارة and the plural is قارات. قارات. You've got an example for you. بأي قارة سنغافورة؟ بأي قارة سنغافورة؟ بأي قارة؟ In which continent? Singapore is Singapore. So, in which continent is Singapore? بأي قارة سنغافورة؟ Another very important vocabulary. We've got شرق. شرق which means east and is equally used as a postcode in the Middle East. شرق east شرق east. القهوة شرق المتحف القهوة the cafe شرق east المتحف the museum meaning the cafe is located on the east side of the museum القهوة شرق المتحف غرب غرب is west غرب غرب west المتحف غرب المدينة المتحف غرب المدينة المتحف is a museum غرب is west and المدينة is the city so the museum is located on the west side of the city المتحف غرب المدينة شمال شمال is north شمال north do not mistake it for شمال Sh. So this is Sha Mal Shamal Shamal which means north which means north Shamal Not Shmal Shmal means left. I've got so many students and people I teach and I come across they always make mistakes between these two vocabulary. And the main difference is is the vowel on the first letter. Uh, the one which uh, which means north is Sha Sha. Shamal, Shamal. And the one which means left is Shmal, Shmal, Shmal. So do not make that mistake as well. Il Ahramat, Shamal, Il Madine. Il Ahramat, the pyramids. Shamal, north. Il Madine, the city. The pyramids are located north of the city, on the north side of the city. Il Ahramat, Shamal, Il Madine. جنوب south جنوب south جنوب south I've got an example for you نحن قاعدين بجنوب مراكش نحن we قاعدين which means sitting or renting or this is where I'm staying at the moment بجنوب in the south B is in جنوب is south مراكش is مراكش نحن قاعدين بجنوب مراكش we're staying South of Marrakesh. Madkhal. Madkhal. Entrance. Madkhal. When Madkhal el Fundo. When Madkhal el Fundo. This is a big dilemma. I think when you travel somewhere, there's always the entrance is the opposite location or there's always a mystery. 
وين از وير مدخل از ذا انترنس الفندق ذا هوتيل وين مدخل الفندق ان يس it was missing a question mark so وين مدخل الفندق where is the hotel's entrance we've got another important vocabulary which is re- related to travels mirab mirab or garage both means parking which is a bit of a nightmare when you see travel you're trying to find parking mirab mirab or garage which means parking for those brave souls who would like to rent a car and go on holiday mirab mirab which means a uh, parking lot and garage which refers to the same but obviously in english a garage refers to somewhere something else which uh, where you fix your car mirab garage both means the same thing and here is a sentence fi shi mirab bi nas al madina fi shi is there something mirab a parking place bi nas nas which means uh, half or middle or center al madina the city is there parking at the city center fi shi mirab bi nas al madina and the opposite of the previous word is makhraj 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 which is the exit makhraj when makhraj al matar when makhraj al matar makhraj is the exit and matar is the airport when which means where where the airport's exit where you're trying to leave the airport and it's always a mystery how to leave an airport when makhraj al matar and it says نحن طالعين we are leaving نحن we طالعين leaving we are leaving وين مخرج المطار نحن طالعين where is the airport's exit we are leaving a very important vocabulary which as well uh, you will recognize it taxi taxi is a taxi and the plural is تكاسي 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 وين التكاسي بالمطار وين التكاسي بالمطار which is simple and straightforward and it means where are the taxis at the airport where are they located where can i find one وين التكاسي بالمطار another very important vocabulary is خريطة خريطة which means a map as some of you might have uh, come across this the hard way uh, a lot of uh, the maps or the uh, google maps or apple maps don't really work uh, or don't really cover the middle east because they're not really important if they were important they would have made some maps for the middle east especially when you go to egypt or uh, jordan and because they are not that important they couldn't bother so you might need a proper map and a proper map is kharita and uh, simply when you go to hotels you will certainly come across a map which you could borrow and uh, use kharita fi kharita lal madina al qadima fi kharita is there a map lal madina for the city al qadima the old meaning is there a map for the old city fi kharita lal madina al qadima a very important vocabulary which uh, happens a lot of tourists get lost so i thought it would help you before you get lost daya daya that's the active participle for i masculine he masculine and you masculine so you would use this uh, with three people daya lost and daya that as well means lost but it's only used for i feminine woman talking and when you address a woman and when you talk about her she third person you would use this conjugation as well and this is called the active participle so one conjugation could be used for three subject pronouns daya which uh, could be used with i masculine you masculine and he daya which could be used with i feminine you feminine and she dayain would be used with we group of people you group of people and they group of people so this is called the active participle one conjugation could be used uh, to address three people and all of them uh, when it comes to translation it means lost nothing changes but uh, the changes here is like the gender changes and uh, the plural versus singular we've got an example for you if i'm talking say ana daya i'm lost when fundo al hamra when fundo where is the hotel al hamra al hamra where is al hamra hotel ana daya i'm lost when fundo al hamra where is the al hamra hotel 
another very important vocabulary which means uh, center or central and it is وسط وسط or مركز وسط مركز you could use either المتحف بوسط المدينة المتحف the museum بوسط at the central المدينة the city the museum is located at the city center المتحف بوسط المدينة Another important vocabulary for those uh, poo souls who love to hike. Jabal. Jabal, which means a mountain. Jabal. Jabal. And the plural is Jbal. 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 Jbal, which means mountains. So that's the singular, the plural. And we've got a sentence for you. Rahin natla mashi la jabal tasyun. رايحين نطلع we're going to go out مشي for a walk walking مشي going for a walk or walking لجبل for the mountain or to the mountain لا which means to لجبل to mountain قاسيون that's the name we're going for a walk to قاسيون mountain so you're going for a hike because we don't have the word hike in Arabic uh, we just simply use the word walk Another very important vocabulary for those who would like to go for a night out. And we use the Arabic word Sahra. Sahra is a night out or is the night time or is the night life. Sahra, Sahra, when you go out uh, for the night. And the plural is Sahrat. Sahrat, that's the plural. So Sahra, Sahra is when you go out and stay uh, out if you go to a club or restaurant, etc. I've got an example for you. Fishi Saharat Arabiya Hal Isbua. Fishi is there something? Saharat, uh, which means uh, parties here, uh, parties or evenings or night uh, time. Arabiya Arabic. So meaning uh, do you have any Arabic nights uh, uh, specifically? Hal Isbua this week. Ha, which means this. Il Isbua, which means week. Uh, I'll give another read. في شي سهرات عربية هالأسبوع؟ Do you have any Arabic parties this week? Another very important vocabulary for those who travel with kids. Or simply, if you're going to go and have a, uh, a cup of coffee. In quiet and peace. حديقة حديقة is park. حديقة is park. And the plural is حدايق حدايق حديقة and the plural is حدايق في شي حدايق للولاد ببرلين في شي حدايق للولاد ببرلين في شي is there something حدايق which means parks للولاد for kids ببرلين in Berlin this is if you're asking somebody are there any uh, play parks for the kids in Berlin so if you, you go with your kids and you don't know what to do as we always tend to do uh, you might want to take them to the park or a play park for children and you would say the sentence or you would use the sentence so you would say في شي حدايق للولاد ببرلين that is your sentence another very important vocabulary which we looked at it previously صيدلية صيدلية which means pharmacy and we've got an example وين في صيدلية فاتحة هلا وين في where is where can I find صيدلية uh, pharmacy Fatha open Hella now uh, As you know in the Middle East uh, if God forbid if you get sick uh, I would definitely go to a pharmacy because most of uh, pharmacists uh, they spend at least six years uh, studying so they, they technically they are GPs or ge general practitioners uh, and uh, if you don't like to go to hospitals because uh, it's uh, a very long wait if you go there so instead of a head to a pharmacy and they will definitely help you so you could ask for one and you say when fi saydaliye fatha halla where can i find an open pharmacy now another very important vocabulary for those who would like to swim in the rivers and it is nahr or simply if you use it as a key point uh, to guide yourself or ask for direction so you've got nahr Nahr, which means a river. Nahr. And the plural is Anhar. Anhar, rivers. Nahr, 
أنهار في نهر قريب فينا نسبح فيه في نهر is a river قريب nearby فينا we can نسبح to swim we swim في which literally means in it but inside the river and the overall translation means is there a river nearby we could swim في نهر قريب فينا نسبح في another very important vocabulary is موقف باص موقف is a stop باص is a bus موقف باص موقف باص وين موقف الباص وين موقف الباص where is the bus stop رايحين للمتحف رايحين we are going group of people للمتحف to the museum وين موقف الباص رايحين للمتحف another very important vocabulary اطار اطار which means train However, in Arabic, you could use the word train, which is absolutely fine. So we tend to use train as well. Uh, but the Arabic word is اطار 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 في شي اطار من أسوان للإسكندرية في شي اطار من أسوان للإسكندرية في شي is there اطار a train is there a train من أسوان from أسوان للإسكندرية to Alexandria So you're asking for a train from uh, A to B Is there a train from Aswan to Alexandria? Another very important vocabulary We've got Saraf Saraf which refers to the person or the location where they exchange money It's a money exchange uh, place and uh, we've got a sentence for you When fi Saraf موسوق هون When fi Saraf موسوق هون when fi, where is? Saraf, uh, an exchange. Mouthuk, trusted. Hon, here. When fi saraf, mouthuk hon. When fi saraf, mouthuk hon. Meaning, where is a trusted money exchange place around here? When fi saraf, mouthuk hon. Another very important vocabulary we've got. Su, aswa. Su, a market. Aswa markets. So you're looking for shops. Su aswa. When is su al adim? When, where is su the market? Al adim, the old. Where is the old market? When is su al adim? Where is the old market? Another very important vocabulary is safara. Safara, safara, which means embassy. And if you're asking for an embassy, you say, when is Safara al Urduniyya? When is where? Is Safara is the embassy? Il Urduniyya, Jordanian. Of course, you could replace Il Urduniyya with your own embassy. Another very important vocabulary, which is Dighri, straight on or straight away. Dighri. Dighri or Atul. Dighri, Atul. Both of these vocabulary are used, so you could use either of them, and they are used on the meaning of uh, go straight away or straight on. So you could be able to use both of them. I've got an example. لو سمحت روح على المطار عطول. لو سمحت, which means please, روح على المطار, go to the airport, عطول, straight away. So here you're asking somebody to go straight away, hopefully you don't miss the flight. لو سمحت روح على المطار عطول. Please go to the airport straight away. Great, guys. And with this uh, and today's session, I hope you really enjoyed. We've got we covered quite a lot of vocabulary, and uh, I've uh, supported them with these examples. So hopefully, you find them helpful. And as always, if you find these uh, videos um, helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button as it helps the channel and this video quite a bit and helps me to make more videos for you guys. And if you're interested, uh, then don't forget to support the channel. Uh, there are a couple of links uh, in the description below. There's a PayPal uh, uh, link. There's a PayPal link where you could donate uh, to the channel, hopefully to help me to help you all guys to make more video for all of you. And again, a very warm welcome to everybody who just joined us recently. I hope you're all having a great time and learning with us. Till next time, stay safe. Ma salame.